Here are key signs that she wants you to approach her. One of the biggest problems is that men get super confused by the signs girls give off. She's smiling at me. Does that mean she's being nice? Or does that mean she thinks I'm cute? But the first sign she wants you to approach her is that she may glance at you, slightly smile, look away, and then repeat that a few more times. She definitely wants you to approach her. This is her way of trying to get your attention. Rarely ever do girls want to do the approach, but they will give you signs to escalate yourself. Another sign is if she gets close to you. Let's say you're in the club, and one moment there's a group of girls way across the dance floor. Then a few minutes later, they are right next to you. This means one of the girls in that group is attracted to you. And here's a hint. It's the one that makes eye contact with you, looks down, and then back up at your eyes. Once you know the target, stroll on up and say this. Hey, I saw you checking me out. So I thought I'd make it easy for you and come introduce myself. Here are things that makes a man look weak. Most people are actually strong, but most people act in ways that makes them be perceived as weak. Then people tend to treat you as that. A lot of people try to be nice to everybody, please everybody, and puts everybody else first. But putting everybody else first only tells them it's okay to put you second. Most people think being nice to everybody means they'll be nice back, but most people are waiting to take advantage of that because they are sensing weakness in these ways. If he seeks reassurance, let's say that he's on a date and he is constantly bothering her, asking, are you are you okay or are you having a good time? Weak men are so obsessed with what others think about them. If they post a picture or a video, they are constantly asking if it was good and are focused on the likes and the comments. Strong men do not need validation and they are not seeking reassurance. So stop this habit and start believing in yourself. Here are some of the best ways to tease a girl to make her chase you. If you want to be able to attract anybody you talk to, then you have to know how to playfully tease a girl. But warning, if you do this, this will make her simp for you. If you want to be that witty man of her dreams, then listen to and apply these examples. If she says, you're a player, you probably talk to so many girls. Do not answer this logically. Instead, say this, you look like you're into bad boys anyways, babe. This is literally straight from my book. Let's say she's bragging about how she went to school and she's this top graduate. Instead of saying something like, wow, respond with this. Oh my gosh, your parents must be so proud of you. Don't forget to smirk and she will definitely playfully push you away. And speaking of which, if she touches you, then you say this. Hey, watch it. I know what you're trying to do. Let's say the girl who graduated top of her class hasn't said anything in a while. Then turn to her and say this. So what kind of math are you doing in your head right now? Here's what to do when a girl is mean to you. Girls have sneaky ways of testing your confidence. Almost all women want a high value man and they screen through low value men by giving them tests. Sometimes they go cold, sometimes they'll tease you, but other times they'll be mean. And if you fail this and 99% of men fail, then she will lose attraction. But you can pass through two ways, misdirection and teasing her. Let's say there's a girl at the club. She's sitting with her friends and she looks pissed. You approach the group and after two minutes of talking, you look at the angry girl and you say this. So what's your story? Why are you sitting here with that sour look on your face? And she comes back with a fire. Why would you even say that? Why would you call me out? She is angry taking it out on you. This is straight from my book. And most men back down, but we don't. Instead, respond with this. Would you rather I be the friend who lets you sit here like this? Or the friend who takes you out of that state? Hold eye contact. Don't back down. And she will want you. Here are signs that a girl secretly likes you but is hiding it. And this is for the guys out there. So if you're a girl, don't watch. Us guys don't want you to stop doing these things. First, pay attention to the way she looks at you. If she tilts her head down but looks up at you, then there's a strong chance she's crushing on you. Also, if you look at them and they immediately look down, it's a sign you caught them staring at you or they are just nervous around you. Another key sign a girl has a crush on you. They ask you if you think some girl on Instagram or in person is pretty, which means they are probing to see if you like them back. And here's a tip. Don't don't say she's pretty. One more key sign is to pay attention to how they touch themselves. Not like that. But someone who has a crush on you will play with their jewelry, their clothing, and most commonly their hair. The reason they are doing this is that they are subconsciously trying to make themselves look better for you. Here's what to say if your crush tells your friend that she will never date you. Sometimes you have those weird situations where you might like a girl, but you don't know where she stands with you. Your friend then tries to scope it out for you and tries to see what she truly thinks of you. But if the girl is shy, she will always tell your friend no because she doesn't want to confess her feelings if you don't like her back. But very commonly, if someone asks your crush if she would date you, she will come up to you and say this. Oh my gosh, your friend Johnny asked me what he would think about you and me dating and I told him no way. You're not mad about that, are you? And most men logically reply 
reply. Oh no, I'm not mad about that. But remember that you have to engage her emotions to get what you want. This is literally straight from my book. When she says, you're not mad about that, are you? Then you need to say this. Oh my gosh, I got asked the same question about you today. You'll never guess what I said. And she's like, what? Tell me. But wait like 10 minutes to reply to keep her waiting. I told them in her dreams. Here is one of my best tricks to getting any girl's number. A lot of guys have the problem with making it awkward or creepy when asking for her number, but I'm gonna give you one of the best tricks to not only always get her number, but to also make her chase you. It is called the photo routine. Let's say you're in the club and you're flirting with this girl, but the night's almost up and you have to leave, but you need her number. Then have one of your friends or someone around you use your phone to take pictures of you two together. Just say, here, come take a picture with me really quick. Take a serious one, a funny one, and then a hot one. And before you leave, Say this, hey, I'll send these pictures to you later tonight. Have her put her number in. When she's putting her number in, tell her to put an emoji by her name just so you can remember her. But if your phone happened to die, make her write her name and number on a napkin and have her draw a little portrait of herself. This is straight from my book. Then send her the pictures with the caption, let's just get married already, we're so hot together. She's like, we should. And you're like, whoa, let's just start with dinner. Here are signs that you are not an alpha male. There is no doubt that if you show alpha male characteristics, then you will be chased after by women and automatically command respect from others. If you feel like you're average or somebody who just wants better, then take note of what I'm about to tell you in order to improve the quality of your life. But one sign someone isn't alpha is that nobody respects them. When he talks, nobody pays attention. Nobody even listens. When he's walking through the mall or really anywhere, nobody even notices him. Notice how girls act because they pay attention to men they respect. If you find that girls notice you, or listen to you when you're talking, then chances are you're more alpha than you think. One more key sign is your emotional self-control. Women are naturally attracted to strong men, but not physically strong, but mentally strong. Let's say you have a guy insult you. If you become uncentered, then you need to work on your mental strength. Alpha males have an unbreakable frame. If life isn't going the way they want, they don't get mad, and this shows mental strength. Here is how to make a shy girl chase you. It may be difficult because most guys would think she's just not interested, but in reality, she may just be nervous around him and not know what to say. Let's talk about signs she's shy but likes you. If she talks to everybody except for you, this doesn't mean she doesn't like you. It just means she's nervous to talk to you. And if she is acting flustered, then say this. It's kind of cute the way you act around me. And if she gets defensive, well, what do you mean? Then she is definitely interested in you. Respond with this. Oh, never mind. Also, pay attention to her friends, especially when when you come around. If her friends tease her and giggle, then it's a huge sign she likes you. It means she's talking about you to them. But if you walk into a party and they were not expecting you, they will look at her and she'll begin to blush. Walk on up to her and say, it looks like you wanted to talk to me. Chances are she'll be starstruck. Before she can reply, act like you're walking away. Never mind. And she will pull you back in. Here is how girls test your confidence and how to respond to make her chase you. Almost all women want a high value man, but they will screen through the weak men in order to find the man who can pass her test. Sometimes she will be cold and distant, while other times she may try to make you jealous, but sometimes she will insult you in a playful way. Let's say that you make her laugh and she responds with, you're so dumb or stupid or annoying. And if you let these little comments affect you and these put you in your head, then it's telling her that you have these thoughts about yourself, but you want to respond confidently and show her how centered you really are. Let's say during the conversation you make her laugh, and mid-laugh she says, oh, you're so stupid, but you have a trump card. Let's say a few moments ago that she was telling the group how she had to retake one of her classes. You need to misdirect this and tease her. This is straight from my book. When she laughs and calls you dumb, then you say this. I mean, only one of us had to retake chemistry here, so... This flirting trick is so simple yet effective, it's almost evil. It is for those who want to be noticed or chased in the nightclubs or the bars. And just one warning, this can be used for manipulation. So if you can't handle that, then don't watch this. Literally so many people have this problem. When talking to your crush at the nightclub or the bar, when people are overly investing, they tend to lean in too much. But what does this show? Leaning in during conversation tends to subconsciously symbolize neediness. But it is hardwired into the human brain to chase that which pulls away from us. In conversation, if you catch yourself leaning in, or you notice the other person isn't into the conversation, then all you have to do is lean out, lean into the wall or a pole. This will cause the other person to feel like you are pulling away, or that you're about to walk away, which will make them work harder to keep you there. 
Here are tricks to starting and keeping a conversation going with anybody. A lot of guys fear being rejected by a girl, which makes them hold back in conversation. But if you know this simple conversation trick, it will boost not only your confidence, but your ability to make anybody chase you. Something you've probably noticed is that pickup lines do not work. If they did, every guy would be using them. But your goal when you meet somebody is to not make them uncomfortable. Let's say there's a group of girls, because most people go out in groups. One of the best ways to go up and meet them is called an opinion opener. And I learned this from the Neil Strauss. Hey, let me get a quick opinion on something. I'm here with my friends over there, and we're having a discussion. A friend of mine is dating a girl and wants some advice, but I can only stay for a second because I have to leave soon. But he's been dating this girl for three months and is still friends with his ex-girlfriend. How do you feel about that? Now you got them talking, and they don't want you to leave. Make sure to say, I have to leave soon. The first thing they're thinking is, oh, what does this guy want? It makes them more open to talking to you.